Well, thanks once again for joining me in my shop. I'm starting something new here. It's uh, something a little different from what I've been working on lately. Hmm. And the condition of this, I have no idea. I have no idea. This might work perfectly, might not work at all. I really don't have any idea. Let's find out. pile of writing back here. Just all the usual stuff. Here's a warning. Two pairs of speakers. Each of them must be 8 ohms. So you don't want to be plugging in a pair, a pair of 4 ohm. I guess you don't want to be plugging in 4 ohm speakers into this. That's what it's warning. Tuning, volume, oh, left volume, right volume, two separate volume controls. Functions, auxiliary tape, phono. Phono would be this, of course. FM, stereo, FM, AM. Tone. Uh, microphones, has microphone input. And it says rem, rem here, it must be remote. I'm not exactly sure what that would be. Recording level, left or right, you can watch one channel or the other. Recording level. Is that all that does? And power switch off uh, two or four channel. This is a four channel machine? Come on. You're kidding me. Now for a short while, four channel, I was going to say stereo, but it's more than stereo, isn't it? There was a four-channel uh, hi-fi world developing, would have been probably mid-70s or so. And for a while, even records were produced with four tracks on them, believe it or not. And uh, there were cartridges that could pick apart, or receivers that could pick apart these four channels and pump them out to four speakers. There was even four-channel headphones, and each, each headphone had two speakers angled differently to give you the front and back effect on your ears. So all that stuff got in place but it never became popular and then it just faded out. So uh, you know I'm gonna guess that this isn't a real four channel device. That this is malarkey. That uh, I can't say I've ever seen a four channel cartridge. I wouldn't know one to see one really but I doubt very much that this is anything other than stereo. Particularly when the headphone jack looks like an ordinary headphone jack. I think for the four channel headphones you had two two plugs on your headphones. I think. I've never seen a pair. So we'll select two channel here. If it's four channels there's got to be four room for four speakers back here. Auxiliary in, record out. Uh, here we are. Front speakers, rear speakers. I don't believe it. So that's why they're concerned about the four ohms, though, because you can plug up to uh, four speakers into here. If you plugged in four four ohm speakers, you probably got the impedance so low by that point. This poor guy's bound to overheat, and you're going to be turning it up louder and louder, too. So, uh, okay. Oh, tape deck. It has a tape deck in here. I didn't notice that. Hmm. A little spot to store your tapes. It's okay to look at. Hey, what's this? What is this? A secret find. There's a phone number. Looks like 504. 
Seven six five four, really? Seven six five four. What's that say? Let's take a little closer look. Maybe there's some important hint here of something. You never know. Let's see what we can see here. This is like looking at uh, hieroglyphics. I've been still watching lots of videos on ancient Egypt and uh, Peru, places in South America, and all this really ancient uh, cities and that. Very interesting stuff. There's 504 again, written right in the middle of it. Looks like 504. No, I can't, you know, I just can't make anything out of this secret. You know what else, though? This tape looks really, I mean, look, somebody's tried to peel it off here. And uh, it has that look of really old tape. This has been on here for a long time. Yes, it's all dried up. What's that tell you? Who, who sticks scotch or uh, masking tape on the side of something and then writes on it? Somebody who's trying to sell this might do that. Somebody who's storing it for a while. Somebody who's got it in for a repair and they might want to just put the name of the person and their phone number right on it. But I don't think your typical owner would stick a piece of uh, tape on the side of it here. Just trying to figure out if we can guess anything about the history of this machine here. I'm going to need some kind of solvent to really clean this off. So who, who makes this machine? Who, who is it? Sanyo. Sanyo model GXT4504K. Okay. Made in... Japan, made in Japan, but not the record player. The record player, the record player is, uh, I think it's called, a, yeah, it's a BSR. So this is made in Britain. And the tape deck, well, we can guess that's a, a Sanyo machine. Okay, I say, let's plug it in. Now, where did the volumes go here? Oh, i got to put some speakers on it. Speakers first. That'll take me a moment. Okay, got a couple speakers hooked up here. We're on front front speakers. Okay. Now again, I got no idea what's going to happen here. So for sure, I'm going to use the uh, dim bulbs to protect things when I first turn on. Powers off and volumes down. Right. Always good to double check those things. Power on here. Okay. There we go. Light, light. Just listening quietly. No funny sounds. Okay, no funny sounds. Just notice the travel lock is on here for the record player. There we go. Volume up, left one. Nada, right one. Nothing. What are we on here? We're on auxiliary. Okay, let's go over to AM radio. Left one. Hey. Right one. Very good. Both of them. Okay, let's tune a little. It's a radio. Six eighty, it's right on. It's 
40. It's working good. 590. All the stations that I can get. How about the French one? using the power cord as a uh, very, very lousy antenna. Since that's the case, let me spread it out a little bit here. It's all tangled up. Spread out. Okay, it's not much spreading. <laughs> See if that helps. Awfully quiet. That's really too quiet. Okay, we're gonna have to put a real FM antenna on this. Let's check it. Okay, so I'll take off this kind of cheater type antenna here. which, in a very simple way, turns the power cord into an FM antenna. Here's a real one. Let's see if you can see that clearly. So, 300 ohm ordinary TV flat lead wire. Comes up to a T connection. The ends are soldered together. Turning this into a folded dipole cut for the FM band presenting a 300 ohm impedance to the uh, radio and the radio will have been designed for a 300 ohm impedance I get the impression this is not going to help though oh, that sounds a little louder I don't know how that's coming in on the video it's Okay, I'll just kind of stick this here amongst all this big heavy metal equipment. <laughs> I'm sure that's not the best arrangement. Good enough for a test though. able to pick up the uh, local oscillator coming from this radio, but hasn't it picked up anything else yet. It's very surprising. I would have thought the local oscillator from this radio here would be weak or of a similar strength to regular broadcast stations. There it is again. A little something there. Hmm. Not getting a good feeling here. Let's try the uh, FM stereo. Can't imagine how that would help. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn on my uh, shop FM signal source here. I could put out a really strong signal. We'll see if this guy will pick that up. That's a little disappointing. We're going along pretty good here. I hear the hum too. And if I tune up the dial, the hum, the hum drops a lot. That's a sign of something. Okay, so this is going to be around 100. Somewhere, somewhere around here. Somewhere around there. RF 
output signal come here. This little, I'm just going to lay it right near the antenna. I mean, there's no doubt there'll be enough signal. We should hear it. Let's go to uh, mono. Believe it or not, I think that's it. Wow, just I just barely hear the tone. Super duper, super duper weak. Not boating well at all. Stereo. Okay, you should turn on the stereo light if there is one to turn on. Uh, that's a kind of a hopeless situation there. Okay, that's the story on the FM. Not good. How about the record player now? How about the record player. Okay, I'm in the mood for Billy Joel. Worst comes to worst. <laughs> okay, we'll play that song. Thirty-three. Speed 12, or size 12, that's all set correctly. Let's see what happens here. The volumes are down, that's a good way to start. Monitor on off. Off. Phono, there we are. Okay, let's see if this will even turn. Start the needle on 78 here and it should be on. Yeah, there's a needle there. Player's turning. Traction so so. There we go. Maybe it maybe it didn't hear me. Here we go. feels a little, well, I was going to say it feels like the lubrication is sticky, but okay, here we don't go. Okay, let's, let's force this down. chance this is going to pick up at the end. To be careful for copyright issues here. Will it pick up? Things are pretty glued up under here, I'm quite sure. Okay, so record player is working, speed's good, doesn't have a rumble or uh, doesn't, 
it's, it sounds nice and quiet when it's running. Uh, probably just lubrication issues here, and we're done. Tape deck. Oh my gosh, I gotta find a tape. When was the last time I played a tape? Uh, uh, okay, without a tape. Starting without a tape. So we'll turn this off. It has an automatic little grabber here that grabs the oh, grabs the tone arm. Over to tape. We're on tape. I don't know what we're gonna do without a tape. I'll have to go dig one up. My gosh, what have I done with them? Okay, first of all, a rewind. And it's spinning. Fast forward. And it's spinning. Play. Looks pretty good. Well, there's a good chance this is going to work. I gotta get a tape. Gotta find a tape. Where are those confounded tapes? Okay, after a thorough search of my house, I found this tape buried in a drawer. This is a very this tape requires a little bit of explanation. Uh, I made this tape probably in 1976, uh, something like that, 77, and this is a tape recording of the FM in-house FM radio station that I had assembled in an apartment building for students cooperative apartment building, a place called Neil Weizak in downtown Toronto. And I put together this uh, FM radio station in a very curious way. I had the transmitter at the top of the building feeding into the uh, TV antenna distribution system. Everybody would hook up their TVs to inside this building. It was a big TV antenna on the top of it. The 22-story building with 750 students in it. This is not a small, small place. And uh, so I fed the uh, FM signal back into that antenna distribution system and then you hook up your radio to the uh, terminals on the wall in your room and bingo, you could pick up uh, Neil Weizik FM. Now normally there was nothing on it, there was no studio. What I did instead was I discovered that you could, believe it or not, you won't believe this, you could feed an audio signal back into the antenna wires the wires that were supposed to feed TV signals to your TV, I'd feed an audio signal onto them from my apartment. That would go throughout the building and I would pick it off at the top of the building up where the transmitter was, pick off the audio and feed it into the transmitter. What are the chances of that working? Well, I don't know, the chances were slim, but it did work. Believe it or not, it worked. And ultimately, it wasn't just me supplying uh, program material to the transmitter. In the end, I had seven, seven of us, seven different apartments all through this apartment building. Any one of us able to go on the air at any time simply by turning on our, our stereos inside our apartments, playing records like we would anyway to ourselves, just flip a switch and it would go through the transmitter and then be available for everybody in the building. I have no idea how many people ever listened to it. There was some, I know that for sure. I don't know how popular it ever got. Uh, it was hit and miss. If nobody was transmitting, it was dead. If somebody decided to put a record on, there it was. So, Neil Weizak FM. Uh, well, let's hear it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. I'm nervous. I'm nervous to hear myself from 1976. Okay, first, rewind. See right in there or not? Okay, rewind. Okay, looks okay. Stop. Now I'm watching to make sure the wheels stop sudden. Perfect. Fast forward. Same thing. Let's, let's rewind for a bit. I have no idea what's on this tape. Well, I don't know exactly what's on this tape. Okay, let's stop. Let's play it. Let's play it. Here we go. Volume is down. Play. Okay, I'm looking right away to make sure both wheels are turning. Good. How many? How many? How many? Three and a half yard width. Four, four, Step two. Cut and trim the clock. Do you hear about the lumber that was playing poker? No, what about the lumber that was playing poker, 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 poker? He threw in his hand. 
Are you a patient in the great cavity of the abdomen? Are materials being disposed of to your satisfaction? Okay, I gotta explain. Well, the reason it's echoing, there's three or four of us in our apartments doing this at once. And there's no pause here. The reason it's echoing is one of the guys is running it through a tape deck and then picking off the monitor and firing the monitor back into the transmitter. And that's where the echo is coming from. It's it's not it's not that it's echoing on its own. It's that somebody's doing this in one of their apartments. And believe me, when we we're all we were all doing this, we all had our own microphones in that. We, it, was, it, was, it was like being on CB radio or something like that. We really didn't know who the other person was. Well, we knew. I mean, they're all my friends, right? So I recognized their voice. But we had no, no centralized control here at all. It was, just, it was just wide open, crazy stuff. Make house calls on yourself with the Dr. Hardcover 395 soft cover. Gonorrhea. What? Syphilis. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea, gonorrhea, Can oral sex be fun? Why press yourself? Tune yeah. in next week when we delve into the realm of the Bermuda Triangle. Many a sailor has gone down in the Pubic Triangle. When I was six, I started school at the Brown Bag Club in Cork. For me, sounds like Rob's on the air again. Yes, 10.50 Chum, we play the best in Toronto tonight with the Major. CKLW Windsor, uh, taking a look at the news, uh, 40 people are in the hospital with whiplash after the roller coaster they were riding was hijacked by a man claiming to be the devil. devil. Yes, this is Byron McGregor saying goodbye for 2020 News. Oh, shit. Where is Byron now, anyway? Is he uh, still in, um... I don't know what he's doing now. Yeah, I think he just... He's, he's on the news now and again on CKLW. But I hardly ever listen to it except when I'm home. Because I only have an AM radio at home, so I'm stuck. Okay, so... <laughs> I was going to get a kick out of that. Yes, we would come on for an hour or two. Who knows what we would do? Funny stuff. So anyway, getting back to the tape deck. I'll have to listen to this tape myself. Uh, wow, it's long too. <laughs> Ooh. Now none of that was me. My, my voice didn't appear on there. Uh, that was my good buddy, uh, Scott the Hopper. Um, whoop, there you are. Now you're on, you're on air. No doubt my buddy Scott, he's still my buddy and he's watching all these videos he's going to hear himself on this so <laughs> i'm pretty excited about that that was a long time ago 1976 maybe 77. so good news tape decks working that's great a lot of these tape decks when they get this old they have uh, belts in them that just disintegrate or slip or bind or have a lot of problems with belts in these things but not this one so that's really good tape deck working Record player, well, playing records, but the mechanics need some attention. No big deal. FM, FM's in trouble. That makes this whole thing much less valuable, unfortunately. Much less valuable. Um, people love their FM, FM radio these days. So that's the end of the checkout. I'm uh, going to have to ponder the situation here before I decide what to attempt to do. The FM thing strikes me, it's nothing simple. Uh, it's going to be something uh, challenging to, to come across. And because it really was barely receiving anything, uh, that tells me it's not just an alignment issue, it's not a little, little tune-up and she'll be fine. It's not the situation here with the FM side of it, unfortunately. So anyway, hey, we never tried the fourth channel, but I think it's bull. I think it's bull. Thanks so much for watching. and. Uh, We'll see what I do with this thing next. Okay, well I got another idea here. Since there's a uh, basically a record out on the back of this, I'm able to take the audio output of this rather than power speakers. I can send it straight into my uh, video sound system here that I capture sound, the microphones and that. So all I gotta do is just turn this volume up here and we'll be able to listen to it direct. Okay, so I rewound the tape quite a ways. 
let's see what's happening here. I'm going to turn down the microphones while they do this. No pain. Scott, 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 Was on a dark and stormy night, the widow and her altar were seated round the fire, save the light. When someone came and got her, they wondered why, they wondered who, they wondered who he'd hit her. But as they wondered who to do, they heard the other titter. and talking away here without a microphone. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on on this tape, by the way. <laughs> I have not previewed this, so this might even be X-rated at points. After all, we were university students. There may have been beer involved, I'm not sure. Here, I got it right at the start. Let's see what happens right at the start here. The Phantom is playing the music. Oh, you are right. Well, then who is? You're the only one who has the capability to do both at the same time. ACDC, huh? eh? Somebody must be responsible for this. I want this mess cleaned up before midnight. Right pronto. Are you still there, Kim? I'm pretty fascinated by this tape, okay? It's amazing that I've come across this, in fact. And uh, so, sorry if I'm playing it too much. It's just bringing back floods of memories there. There's about at least four, maybe five of us transmitting in our apartments. Not sure who... We, we can't control each other at all. We're just sitting alone in our apartments with our own stereos and, uh, and microphones. We all have microphones, so anyway. Good. So this work sounds pretty good. In fact, let's play another record here, just because now we can hear it. These little speakers don't do justice to this thing, I'm sure. So, uh, ba, 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 tape. Record, rather. Here we are on phono. I know you carry on the best you can. Well, okay, you don't have to play very much. Not the best sound, is it? Sounds very canned to me. Uh, didn't sound any bass in there at all. And that's just probably the way this thing sounded, because it was going to drive speakers uh, something like this, maybe maybe a little bit bigger than the little guys I've got on here, uh, without much oomph anyway. So that's what I would think. Mind you, it would do four channels. <laughs> Sound terrible in four channels. Okay, that's good. That's good for now. Now I'm done. Now I'm really done. Thanks so much for watching.